we are pulling up to Auto Works. That's where my car has been for the past week. Yeah. About just about, about a week. week. Finally got my bumper painted. I finally got my bumper, got it painted, and I'm gonna see it for the first time. I have seen pictures. The Skyline's one of those cars, like most cars to be honest, it just doesn't do it justice unless you look at it in person. So, is it outside? Let's have a look. We'll park this car here, maybe. Okay. I see it. Oh, that's so much better. Welcome everybody, finally. I've been looking forward to doing this for a super long time. I ordered these, this kit, such a long time ago. It just took forever to be made and also forever to ship because as you may or may not know, there is a virus going around. Anyway, these were built by Nismo themselves in the factory, shipped over to me, and I'm super excited to reveal to you my brand new kit. What do you think? I think it looks great. That looks so much more aggressive. Definitely. So much more. Yep. I'm very happy that I did that. That's the best bumper for it. I've told you millions of times, anyone that chooses any other bumper for this car is wrong. This, this is the bumper. <sighs> right, we should probably pay them. So here is the brand new front end and fenders for my Skyline. This is the fender set and the bumper set that I've been looking for for this. Oh, I wanted it for the longest time. I wanted to do my performance mods first on this car and now it looks the part as well. Now it's not fully finished. I'm always going to be doing stuff with this car. There's still so much left to do performance wise. I haven't even scratched the surface yet. We have a big single turbo and there's going to be a lot more done to it later down the line. For those of you that haven't realized, I always shout and tell you, Z-Tune is the only kit you should have, and Z-Tune is what I have. And here are the fenders too, which are much more aggressive. So I'll give you a little close-up of the details of them. I dropped off this car at Auto Works, and that's where we picked it up in Milton Keynes. Thanks so much to the guys. They also actually refinished the, the hood, or redid the hood. For those of you that do not know, it is a carbon fiber hood. It's not quite the Z-Tune hood, which is uh, something I've always wanted which is probably going to be something i'm going to search but as you can imagine shipping a hood is going to be a little bit more expensive and since i've got a carbon hood i feel like i should get another carbon hood. so it might take a little while but i love the hood as it is i thought it just gives this clean look as is so i'm going to keep it like that for a while and then we'll have a little bit of a play with look for another one along with getting the car painted i've got it re-ceramic they said that it really didn't seem like it was ceramic so uh I imagine that <laughs> it's probably be, it got done over two years ago. So I've had this car for over two years now, I think. Like it's just flown by. I, like, I was worried a little bit that it might actually look a little bit too aggressive at the front. I said no, no such thing. Aggressive at the front and then a little tame at the rear. It does a little, it does a little bit. But the thing is I've already done what you can do to the rear other than a diffuser, which is something that's on the list as you clearly like as if I wouldn't put that on the list. Now that I do have some other mods sitting around for this car. There's actually a couple of things that need to be done to the car, but there's one in particular that was another thing I ordered from Japan. And if anyone can guess what I've ordered, let me know down in the comments and I will give you nothing to be honest, absolutely not. I'll give you a virtual cookie. You just see it shouting at the side. I know there's much more aggressive fenders. I've seen quite a few and uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to, the thing is, I don't even want to think about how much it's worth right now because I'm trying to block it out. I don't want to know because I want to drive it every day, but I, I can't. Right now is awful. Thankfully today it is actually, uh, what is it? 12 degrees Celsius. So that's a little bit nicer than it's been recently, but I'm looking forward to this summer, properly going for a blitz in this, enjoying it as it is, and then going a little bit crazy with performance a little bit later in the year. But look, oh, look at it. So diffuser is definitely on the list. I'm glad that the, the lights I have, the LED lights, definitely spice it up just a little bit. And of course you can see the fenders poking 
from look at that and of course we could always replace the big old wing which is not standard you can see the blade for those of you that do not know my car that blade is not a standard along with the power why it's also going to take so long i need to fix the look of my front brakes <laughs> i mean they work so that's the that's the upside obviously another thing that's quite nice about this setup here is i can actually get a little bit more of a view inside what's going on here which means we can properly get a bit of an idea of spacing for an oil cooler because that's something that this car definitely needs my car runs hot and it's currently cold outside so if this car was in a hot place in spain or florida or something it would probably it would probably die but look how is that mine how is that mine? I'm surprised the wheels fit as nicely as they do. I think they could do now with a little bit of spacing. But not hugely, like it's not, it's really not that bad. Not that bad at all, but it, I don't know, it just looks lower. The car looks lower. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. The intercooler is also standard, but it, it's just so clear now, like so visible. <laughs> just, I, I'm so happy. And like, it also, also has more of a like little shelf here. For those of you that didn't see, I actually also got some LED lights at the front and rear. I'm going to show you, they're so much nicer. Uh, the only light I need to replace is these side ones here. It's much nicer, like I've seen a lot of cars obviously still have the orange lights as is. These ones are so much nicer. So much nicer. So here we are. My R34 GTR has a Z-Tune kit. Let me know what you would do differently. I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say. And of course, you may inspire me just a little bit, but one of the best looking cars on you yeah one of the best looking cars on youtube i don't care if you disagree you're wrong baseline blue r34 z tune kit carbon hood painted you know maybe in the next hood we won't do a painted a lot of things to mix up and i keep all the parts and i can just pick and choose what i want and when i'm looking forward to going to caffeine and machine so this summer's gonna be a good one guys vaccines rolling out we are ready oh just another little thing as well the carbon on the bottom, that's from my other bumper. Pretty sick. And I can always swap to the other bumper if I want to. If I want to go stock mode, whoosh, it's on, it's paint, ready, perfect. Skyline gets special treatment of letting run for a while because it's a Skyline. Now, there's one thing I want to replace on this car to make it a full LED. Do I show you how to do it? It's... I... <laughs> These side markers here need replacing because I've got LEDs everywhere, but that's the only place that they're, they're left. For those that don't know, they're basically standard, but then they rip out the internals and make them LED. Pretty sick. used to fix the light with yeah couldn't really get it to fit properly on one side so i had to file it down rather do that than file the fender down and here we go beautiful led markers they look the same i know that's kind of the point and then when we go inside stop beeping up shut up the hazards on and look at my led markers very cool we now have full led lights i mean except the front obviously but yeah LED. Very cool. I don't know if I should have salt sitting on like a brand new painted car, so I might run and get some cleaning stuff today and uh, clean it properly. Alright, thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash like if you enjoyed this little reveal. I've got some other stuff for this car, as I said, to come, so look out for that. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you know, and I'll see you in the next one. I've got some pretty sick car stuff coming very soon. Until next time, peace.